we live? Are we live? Here we go, get that beautiful basement in the background. Yeah, there we go. Hey, YouTube Live, what up? Cartoon Mark here. <clears throat> I got some notes on this one. Anyway, the title of this video is something along the terms of being a starving artist. Um, or how not to be a starving artist. I, I hate that term, you know. Um, so let's, let's jump right into it. Um, pardon my notes here on my... character, uh, caricature, practice sheet. So, the term, starving artist. Any of you guys starving artists out there? Come on. Are you? Do you hate the word? Is there any working artists out there? Most of you are hobby artists. Um, I can only tell you what I know. And what I know is uh, what I do. And what I do is, um, my niche is cartoons, caricatures, and uh, paintings like that. So, the term starving artist is, is kind of negative, I think. Um, and it's just... Artists, like, who sit, sit in their home, in their home studio or wherever, and they sit around and make beautiful work. And the work just sits on the uh, on the shelf or the closet. Is that you? Um, you know, it shouldn't be. Uh, I'm gu I was guilty of that. You know, my my niche <laughs> originally was uh, landscapes, the Bob Ross style. I mean, kind of like that style. But then I was like giving them away. Like no one was really buying them. They weren't flying off the shelves. You know. Um, they were usually given to relatives as a gift, you know. And uh, I was really the starving artist then. But, and then the artist, you know, you struggle with sales. Is that you? You know, they, they sit around in the basement. I got painting here, painting there, painting all over the place. And, you know, how, nobody, when, nobody really teaches you how to sell this stuff. You're kind of thrown to the wolves, you know? Um, and again, with the whole art school thing, I don't know, man. Um, colleges, they're going to teach you how to, how to do art. You know, I dabbled in, in, in college for, for, for a little bit of art. But um, do they teach you how to sell your art? I don't think colleges teach you that. I could be wrong. Um, but they teach you theory. They teach you technique. But are, are, and you, you could be paying up to 50 grand. Or 100 grand, you know, for college, for art. And are they going to teach you how to sell your art? I don't think so. Live comment. Inspirational nomad. Hey, brother, love you. One day at a time. Yes, Sam, absolutely. One day at a time. Lost a bidding war on a home base. Oh, man. You know, Sam, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Um, what's Dave Ramsey say? You don't want to get house fever? I, I know you're in a hurry. I'm not. A, you're not in a hurry, Sam. Uh, for those of you who don't know, go subscribe over to Inspirational Nomad for good encouragement and life advice. Um, I know your vehicle's at 200,000 miles. I know you're getting tight to getting a place. And uh, you'll do it. You'll find it. No, per, no problem. Prayers for you, brother. I'm coming to you live from the upstate New York bowels of a basement. The motorhome van is easier. Yeah, you know what? But then you got to park it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm praying for you. I'm pr Sam, I prayed for you last night, brother. And you know what? I know prayer works. Uh, he's answered me. I had a situation going on. Uh, Sam, probably the only one who knows about it, and my family members. <laughs> and um, 
it, it it's all working out. We are currently designing an, my own art studio. That will be revealed. <laughs> You're welcome, Sam. Um, but yeah, does, does art school, anybody teach artists how to sell? I don't think they do. I can only tell you what I know. And how, they teach you how work is sold, how to get into museums, galleries. Or the most important thing, do, does college art college teach you how to get your art into the hand of collectors to have repeat customers? I don't think they teach you that. One step to your dreams, brother. I want the best for you. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, I want the best for me, too. And the best for you and all the viewers. Absolutely. Love, love that you're passionate about your creative works. Yeah, I, I, I gotta, I, I, I really, uh, I love it. I, uh, my niche is cartoons, um, but I want to paint caricature. I want to paint like caricatures. It, it's hard, you know. I, 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 I'm a drawer. I draw a lot. But I would love to paint this on a canvas. It's very hard for me to control a brush and a palette knife. It's a whole nother beast. But one step at a time, you know? The whole starving artist thing. So my thing is cartoons at live events. I, I, I kind of just stumbled into it. And when I, once I found it, I'm like, this is pretty lucrative. And I love it. It's like two great things. Like, I wasn't doing it for the money but I really loved it there's somebody walking around down here again I don't know what's going on <laughs> um, pardon my notes you don't have to be a starving artist you really don't have to be back to live comments quick brother each painting list a price on the video and a link to your PayPal yeah I do uh, I forgot to put the link to my shop it's big cartel Mark Brennan at big cartel Got to put that in. I'll put that in after. But I did put the PayPal. Thank you for that advice, Sam. I am now putting the PayPal, PayPal me and all my, my videos. And uh, thank you so much for that. Um, art's a funny thing. I have a drawing request. Oh, boy. Here we go. I, have, I love Sam's drawing request. What's he saying? I have a drawing request called Home Ownership. Please paint that if you want. <laughs> I'm going to paint a guy, right? I'm going to paint a guy. I'm going to paint myself. Or you. If you get a home base, Sam, I'm doing this. You're going to be sleeping on a pillow with one eye open, waiting for that, that leak. Drip, drip, drip. Drip, drip, drip. What, what the fuck is that dripping and leaking? Son of a bitch. I came downstairs one day, this, these fucking hot water tanks are spewing out the top. Holy shit. You, ah. Uh. So, home ownership is sleeping with one eye open, waiting for something to break. That's how I felt recently. And I, I slowly, I made my life more manageable by um, something that has to do with the home. So, I, I can't get into that yet, because it's uh, stuff going on, but... Um, it's a lot easier on my soul. Mrs. Cartoon Mark said, Mark, since you did this one thing, you look like a weight's been lifted off you. I have one less headache, one less hassle that I have to go through. Um, I'll just leave it at that. I'll get into it once it actually happens. But it's in the works, and it has been... It's, we got good things coming at the Cartoon Mark house. Back to the live comments. People are lazy. List the price and pin the comment for them to email you, you PayPal. Oh, they can PayPal you for your drawing. Yeah, they are late, so they just want to click it. Right. Okay, good. You are right, brother. I got that anxiety putting in the offer. You are right. You worry. It's in insanity. Yeah. Possessions. Weigh a person down. Elon Musk. Oh, yeah. I want to own less stuff, and I have been owning less stuff, thanks to the three mil bags. Here's my... Tip. I did a whole clean out here, but now every week, don't tell Car Mrs. Cartoon Mark. I do one big contractor bag a week out of here. All my stuff. I don't touch her stuff. As there's bins labeled here, all her stuff. My stuff's kind of loose and all around. I only have paintings and paintbrushes here. That's really mine. So it's going good. <clears throat> Art's a funny thing. 
Art is a funny thing, man. It's looked at as, as, as a kid activity, all right? And I, I drew from a kid up to my early 20s, and I stopped. I was like, this is kid stuff. I, 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 I stopped. I just didn't want to do it anymore, and life took over, owning a house or working a job and then eventually owning a house. And then once I got settled in, I found th this was when the Internet was kind of being born and taken off. I'm like, wow, there's this thing called the Internet where I can look up how to draw anything or have an art class or an art tutorial. That's freaking amazing. That's what did it for me. Brother, you are more than an artist. You have a very therapist-type style of communication. Well, thank you, Sam. I did not know that. Um, you will go viral. Trust me. Be consistent. I'm trying. See, I did not want to come here today. I did not want to get on here. I almost gave up because I got a lot of shit going on. We know we had a, a loss in the family and... Uh, I got some drama going on, other stuff, but it, we're, we're getting better, and uh, the Lord has answered some prayers recently, so I know he's looking out over us, and uh, it's going to get better. I'm going to stay consistent. Absolutely. So, I mean, art is a funny thing. You pick up right where you left off. If you stop drawing at age 20, like I did, I went back to drawing around age 30, 33, 35. It was around 30, 35. I left off right where, and I had to make up all that ground. So if you're going to be an artist, you know if you stop, that's where you left off. It's like a brain thing, a brain muscle memory and everything. A patient man will always proper. You are more patient than me in many ways. Thank you, Sam. Uh, you're more driven than me in many ways. I wish I had that drive. Um, I do have that drive for certain things, as you can see. But... Um, I, I want to be in Florida so fucking bad. Can you tell? I got the hat. Sam, I wore this hat for you. And for anybody else who wants to get inspired. All right, Port St. Lucie, Florida. Just talked to Mom and Dad Snowbird. I want to get that light out of the way. Um, so I'll be down there December 4th through the 10th. Yeah, Sam, you see me walking on US-1 out in front of Spanish Lakes. Yeah, beep that horn, brother. I'll... <laughs> I want you to say, sell, 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 sell. If you're cruising through Spanish lakes and you see me walking, you say, sell, sell, sell. Say, <laughs> New York, oh, man. I don't know. It is what it is. The salary's here, the job's here, and the family's here. So that's what we're doing. Sorry, I get sidetracked. But, yeah, um, you got to find your market with your art or with your gift. And, brother, let me know. We'll do a video. Wow, Sam. That'd be that'd be sick, brother. I do, I'd do a video with you. I don't. I'm not great with the gift of gab. I, I want to give my take. Uh, if we ever do a video, maybe it could be something like my take from a guy who has worked outside in the elements of upstate New York in a northern climate, who wants to come to Florida and, and and appreciates Florida so much that he think I think the average Floridian takes that weather for granted. They don't think about it. Because when I talked to the contractors in Spanish Lakes when they were building the houses, I said, yeah, I just came from New York. He's like, I never, I never saw snow. I said, I just came from a foot of snow in New York. He goes, I've never seen it. <laughs> he never seen snow. Wish that was me. But we're on the eight-year countdown. So unless God tells me to do otherwise. I don't know. I'm pushing. I got a gig, big uh, cartoon gig tomorrow night. At the venue in Cohoes, New York, Skeeter Creek, the big band, country band, is playing. And I am the house caricature artist. Come by, get a free drawing, hit my cash app scan, hit my Venmo scan, hit my tip cup. I will draw you. I'll draw anything you want. You and your ugly, I mean, good-looking girlfriend, I'll, I'll draw you guys, all right? I'll draw from your phone. I'll draw your kids, your pets, whatever you want. Um, back to the live comments. Sorry, I'm not good with this. Um, what advice would you give a guy in your position that wants to move to Florida? <laughs> I don't know if that's a question for me or not. Uh, how much is that drawing behind you? I got that on my site for $200. Um, thank you, Sam. Thank you for... Doing the interest in it. It's hard to see the colors, but they're very... Uh, uh, this is a, is a canvas painting, okay? You can't hurt it. It's acrylic, 
Um, I just love weird faces. And I love the colors on this. This is probably my favorite painting right now. Uh, this is 200. Hit, hit me PayPal if you want it. Anybody wants it. Um, but, uh, and the shipping is a lot. It's a lot to ship a painting. Because yeah, I have to build a, a case for it out of thin wood. Which I haven't done yet. I usually had the UPS store do it. But they charge like $70, $80 for that. Then plus the shipping. So um, these are uh, 12 by 18. These are uh, 12 by 18 inches. And uh, I got another one here. I'm not, this is a very old one. This is a very old and a very weird one. It's a lot bigger. It's, I was in a weird alien phase. Uh, I even put numbers on their head and some weird shit on the side. Of, um, I don't know. I'm more into the cartoons now. Uh, but yeah, find your art market. Mine is, is caricatures and cartoons and at events. And I, after every event, I usually send a thank you card, handwritten. And I just kind of found my way through it. And I get repeat business, you know, that way. I don't want to give it all away. But um, that's what I do. And that's how I make some extra money at a hobby I love. Um, and you got to find your niche, whether you're an artist or a side hustle or whatever. And then don't be that starving artist. All right. You got to push, push, push. I just drew this and a bunch, like another one this this size before I got here, like three or four, just to get those cartoon muscles going. I push myself so it's fucking automatic. I said, I wake up every morning and I go locate utilities. I trace utilities automatically because I have to, because I need a pension, a paycheck, and health insurance, and a roof over my head. What if I took that same automatic behavior and put it in to this what if I made it fucking automatic to draw 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 sell 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 give value funny and humor to my customers maybe just maybe I can make enough to get to Florida sooner fire emoji fire emoji we're on fire we're on fire 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 tonight Sam you're gonna be on fire tonight too Sam I, I can feel it is going great back to the live comments sorry every video you sh should have at least on a painting behind you on a price tag. Yeah, that's right. Good idea. Each drawing should have a name. Um, whoop. Sorry, I don't know what I did. I might have just pushed some button on here. Oh, we got we got ghosts flying around here, orbs and everything. Yes, yes, yes. I got more paintings around here. Where are they? This one. I don't want to get into the hawk and stuff, but what the hell? That's what it's about. You don't want to be the starving artist. This is called Repent. Um, it's got a lot of texture to it. Uh, a little creepy, a little exaggeration with the cheekbones. Again, canvas painting. That's that one. But um, once it's gone, it's gone, guys. You know, once it's gone, it's gone. How much for the water heater? You know what? Sold to the first bidder who comes up here with $157,000 and $111. All right? Hey, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Thank you so much, Sandra. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, being a homeowner, you want me to get into that? It's a lot of freaking work, a lot of headache, a lot of hassle. You know, fire emoji. I love it. Love it. <laughs> um, and you know what? I got more canvases in here ready to go. Ready to paint. But I'm thinking, Sam, what do you think? I know you're not an art guy per se, but I want to get into painting caricatures but it's so hard you, there's no room for error like I want to paint Fred Sanford and Ralph Cramden and Archie Bunker and you know all, all the stuff I grew up with the funny crazy shows and good times like stuff like that I don't know if it'll come out good though but I gotta try but I'm more into this stuff with a paintbrush I don't know I gotta figure out brother you should have an entire playlist called home ownership okay guys don't buy a home unless it's very small and very manageable. Do not be a landlord. Do not be a landlord. I got major video coming up on that in a month or two after some drama settled out. But Cartoon Mark is a much happier man. Paint your pain. Paint your pain. A tenant, a house, cold weather. Pain equals passion, you know? 
You're right. <laughs> You're very good at caricature. Thank you, Sanders. Yes, I, I try. Uh, hats are tricky. This is a, a cowboy guy. Uh, this hat was tricky. Hoods. I can't draw hoods on people. I gotta work on that. Um, sorry, I, this isn't a really a cartoon thing, but you know, don't be a starving artist. You gotta cold call people, all right? If, 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 you know what? There should never be a starving artist. You wanna know why? I don't care what you paint. If you paint creepy, weird stuff like that, if you paint just color on a canvas and whoosh it around, or, or Jackson Pollock where you splatter, guess what? You have a market for that. You gotta find that market, cold call, call hotels, call coffee shops, mom and pop shops, call someone who's had an interest in your art, because you wanna know what the one goddamn thing in common everywhere in America? There's building. Have in common? Walls. Walls. What's on those fucking walls? What's on these fucking walls? Art. Good art. Really amazing art. And you're really shitty art. Have you gone to somewhere and saw real shitty art? Like, who the fuck painted that? What the fuck reprint is that? If someone bought it and put it on a wall. Every place has a wall. Every building has a wall. You're an artist. Find your calling. Do your painting. Make it as best as you can. Walk in. Bring it under your arm. Say, hey, I'm an artist. I'm looking to sell some work. I say, once they're gone, they're gone. Um, I did that at a coffee shop, and they had me for a month. Professor Job is Albany, New York, Wolf Road. I was there. I had zombie paintings, you know, and they wanted them around Halloween. I sold two, but it was cool. Uh, it was cool to do. Um, <laughs> back to the live comments. Rip that painting and paint a water heater crying rest in peace that paint rip that painting yeah you you want you you like that water heater you know i like taking a warm shower sam i gotta have the water heater you know sam i wanted to get in with you i wanted to get strict with you sam i wanted to get strict with you i said five five oh four i wake up every morning set my alarm at five seventeen i'm in the bathroom doing my business i'm thinking about Inspirational Nomad, I'm watching Inspirational Nomad replay from the night before, and I'm thinking, that fucking Sam, he wants everything fucking easy. Sam, I'm getting strict with you, here you go, I love you brother, you know, you were strict with me, here I am with you. Sam wants everything fucking easy. No, he doesn't, but he, he went off the straight line, and went to the curved line, and did what he had to do to get to Florida. So, he doesn't want it easy, but he wants the least amount of fucking entanglements ever. I know you're laughing your ass off, Sam, and I gotta get strict with you. All right, the fucking Camden, New Jersey. I just watched the fucking video on that. Holy shit, that's a fucking war zone. I don't know how you did it, but Sam, you want? I know you want everything. Fucking minimal this, minimal that. Min I agree. I wish it was me. I wish I could get there, but uh, you want a house, Sam? You want to take a warm shower, Sam? You're gonna need one of those. You're gonna fucking need it. Bite the bullet, do it. Make it, get it small. All right, and Sam, please don't hate me. Um, and you need the electric. You can do electric. You're a fucking electrician. You can do it. You know, something breaks. You know what? Here's the trick, Sam. Have enough money built up and enough money coming in, enough streams of income coming in, so that when this shit does happen, it's a little fucking blip. It ain't a fucking catastrophe. That was my mistake. It was like, oh my God, I got a fucking leak, a fucking water here, a hot water pipe burst. And that was my problem. I didn't have enough scratch built up, so I got a little panicky. And I'm a Grubhubber. I can do Grubhub on the side. I got the app. Uh, I hate DoorDash. Grubhub is the fucking shit. That's way better and way easier than DoorDash, if you ask me. But I'll do it if I have to. Okay, I'm sorry. I got to get back to the live comments. I love you, brother. I hear you. You are right. Thank you, Sam. I know you got to get on your live. Sam, I love you. I fucking love you. I pray for you. I was just getting a little strict with you. I'm sorry. Uh, you, know, you know what I'm saying. Make it so it's not a big fucking deal. Make it so if a problem does happen, it's a little blip and you take care of it like that. Here's money, Mr. Fix-It Man. Go fix it. Back to the live comments, Sandra. I'm sorry. I was, or Denise, Sandra. Okay, Sandra Trapp is, what if you have trouble picking an art style because I'm deciding between comic art and cartoons? Sandra, good question. I would love to see your art or, or, or ask someone because it took another artist to tell me what my style was. I didn't know what that style was. He, he said I had an Asian style. 
of cartoons. I didn't know that until I really looked at it. So, Sandra, um, have your art critique, put it on Instagram, see what people say, or um, do both. Uh, a comic, if you want to get into comic art, that's a very um, panel-to-panel -panel thing. You have to tell a story with comic art. And uh, the cartoons are a little bit quicker. So good luck to you. Sorry, my fingers in the way. Fire emoji. Denise, Sam paints outside the lines. Yes, Sam does paint outside the lines. LOL, Sam. Thank you, Denise. LOL, love you, brother. I hear you. You are right. Van is easy. Would you be mad at me? Oh, Sam, don't worry if I'm mad at you. Uh, I would. Sam, I want to see you settle. Uh, you're 41, 42. Uh, I'm 47. Um... I don't want you to have any headaches. And the headache of finding a place to park would drive me insane. You know that game. You can do it. So maybe the van is easy. I won't be mad at you. Whatever choice you make, that's you. You do you. Um, but there's a little equity when you buy a stick-built home. Um, I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't spend more than 165 k or 200 it would be awesome if you could find... I'll tell you what, what you want, Sam. You want a little cottage that is for sale. It's hard to... They're hard to find. Like a cottage. Jensen Beach has cottages, but I think they're for rent. Um, you got to do the legwork. I don't know. I don't know if you're working with a realtor. I know you had... You got queasy today about putting that offer in. You know what? It wasn't meant to be. And now you're free. You can still look. All right. Back to the live comments. Um... How often do you stream? Sandra, uh, good question. If you ask Inspirational Nomad in the comments, he says I should be streaming every evening. I don't. I'm kind of random. I'm, I'm a bit of a scatterbrain, as all artists are. I am a, um, I have a day job of utility locating, locating underground water and sewer lines. I own a home. I'm a landlord, and I have a girlfriend and two kiddos, 18 and 19. And uh, my parents, and I'm in upstate New York, and it's getting to the cold, the cold season, and my parents are in uh, South Florida, and I will be visiting them very soon. I'm a big fan of Florida. So uh, the, the short answer, Sandra, is I stream whenever I can. I usually try to keep it around this 6 to 7 p.m. because Jeopardy, you know, she's upstairs. She's going to be pounding on there with the broomstick. Get down here. Get up here. Jeopardy's on. All right, so thank you, Sandra, for asking. Five people watching, over 600 subs, channel growing. Yes, yeah, Sam. You got 27.4, and only 53 people were watching last night. That ain't a lot. Yeah, but you're right. That's what it is. It is what it is. And uh, I only got 609 subs and, and five people, four or five people watching. I'm thankful. We're growing. We're trying to hold you. We're trying to hold you. Um, has anybody ever heard of Bill Plimpton? Hang on. I'll be right back. Um, Bill Plimpton? This is a book. Uh, he was an 80s art, an 80s uh MTV artist, um, really cool stuff. Um, you, you would know it if you saw this, I think. I just happened to turn to the page. Um, the MTV artist, like, not Beavis and Butthead stuff, but he did a lot of stuff. He also did caricatures. He's a big Democrat, by the way. Hated Ronald Reagan. Um, look at this one. Sam, this one's for you. Nipple. That's one freaking nipple. Any girls got any nice nipples out there, you know, shout out to you. Love you all. I don't discriminate. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Cartoon Mark. No. She comes first. Sorry, guys. But, yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, this is Bill Plimpton. And uh, his work, Sam, I, if I can find it, I want to show you this. Hang in there, people. There is some crazy stuff. Crazy artwork in here. Um... There is a, a page just, I don't know, maybe I can't show this stuff. I don't know, maybe I'll get shut down um, just on boobs. I can't find, I sh maybe I should be uh, showing this, but it's art. It's not like it's real people. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much the uh, live stream. Um, sorry, I should have been more prepared. I don't know where that is. I'm just zipping through here quick. Okay, this is, you recognize this. This is uh, some of his artwork. All right. Uh, anybody got any questions? Want any art advice? How not to be a starving artist? You got to do the legwork. Here's this guy's caricatures. I really love them. 
you got to hit the pavement. You got to make those calls, uh, do some free work, but not a lot of free work. You know, um, you don't want to give the store away, but that's all for this guy. There was a a whole page in here on. I found it. I just found it. Okay, if this is not allowed, they might shut me down. But it's all boobs. <laughs> How do you sell your art? Okay, and look at what he's got written. You know, all kind of banana tits, uh, watermelons. So I think cartoon, you know what Salvatore Dali, I'll get to you right in a second, Sandra. You know what Salvatore Dali said? The famous painter, the most powerful form of art, graffiti. Because it's shoved down your throat and, and you have no say. And, and advertisers have buses, billboards, they pay thousands of dollars and we're forced to see that. I didn't ask to see that. Whereas the graffiti artist, it's against the law, he is risking his life from not only hanging and dangling in traffic or dangerous at night, fence posts, barbed wire, cops, and other gang members. If you piece over their piece, that's fucking not good. And Salvatore Dali said graffiti is the most powerful form of art. That's what he said, and I think he's right. Um, Maybe, uh, so back to the comments, sorry. Uh, Sandra, how do you sell your art? I sell my art, Sandra, in the form of live event entertainment. As I am a cartoonist, caricature artist. Um, I, and I, uh, an event host uh, has me. A wedding, a barbecue, a company picnic, a birthday party. I'm getting away from the birthday parties. It's a whole nother thing. Uh, and they pay me to be there for a few hours, and then all the drawings are free for the guests. So it's a nice take home. So that's how I sell most of my art. I'm trying to sell paintings, but this is just of an exploration of paint, uh, of, 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 of shapes and colors. It's more of a release for me. Um, I haven't really pushed them to sell yet, so I have a lot, I, 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 I'd love to sell them. I don't know. We'll see. Um, back to the comments. Mark, too complicated. Click PayPal. Simple sell. Okay. Yeah, I got PayPal link. PayPal. Click Mark's link. That's right. Guys, I got a link in there uh, in my description. If you click that, if you want this. Or um, go through my videos. Uh, a lot of painting videos. And the link for my actual shop is in a lot of past videos. Uh, live comments, how do you sell your art? PayPal link, yeah. Um, I should do it. I got to figure out how you're, what you're trying to tell me, Sam, with a PayPal, this, I, I don't know. I'm not a salesman. I'm an artist. Don't ever say that. I was guilty of that. Don't ever say I'm not a salesman. I'm an artist. This is you incorporated. Inspirational Nomad incorporated. Mark Brennan incorporated. Twista incorporated. Sandra Incorporated. You are the artist, the businessman, the accountant, the promoter. You're everything. So don't, I'm guilty of saying I'm not a businessman. I'm, I'm, I'm just an artist. Uh, uh, uh. I have contracts. When I have my events, they sign the contract. 50% deposit. If I don't get that, I ain't showing up. All right. I have travel fees outside of my area. I don't travel too far in the winter, though. Uh, you know what? I didn't. Want, you want a quick story on a, on one of my best gigs I had? Uh, it was a boys' camp in the middle of New York State, which is an hour and forty minutes from me. I didn't want to do it. I quoted them very high on what it would cost for my time. And they said, "Okay, we'll pay you." I was like, "Really? Okay, I'll be there." I went there. It was a zoo. Kids, boys lined up. Uh, I got. I might have a video on that. I don't know. And I did so good. They're like, Mark, you did great. These kids love it. They can take these drawings home. Can you come back tomorrow night? <laughs> what? I just made... I said, sure, I'm, I'm holding it in. Sure, I'll be there. I'll be here tomorrow night. When I had work the next morning, I, I fucking made it happen. I did it. I lost sleep. I took, you know... Oh, I didn't want to say I took a nap the next day. Oop, Sam's going to kill me. But, hey, I do what I got to do. I have a little caffeine to stay up. I'm good to go. So you never know who's on the other phone. On the other line, ringing you up. They had a big checkbook because they're a summer camp. And they're like, yeah, you come back next tomorrow night? I'm like, yeah, I'll be here. 
They brought me on a golf cart. All I had was my pad and paper and markers. I'm dishing out the fun. Guys, I don't know at all. I'm not the best caricaturist, but th they loved it. And uh, they fed me, too. That's part of the benefit package. So, Sandra, look into caricatures. You should really look into it. No, one, I'm sorry. No one's really going to buy your paintings. They're not flying off the wall unless you make it really happen. But cart caricatures and cartoons about somebody else, it's a connection to them. People want something that's involved with them. Like Inspirational Nomad, remember I drew you getting a traffic ticket? You were like connected to that. You were laughing your ass off. I was laughing my ass off drawing it. I was laughing my ass off editing it. And that's what people want, something that connects to them. And uh, Sandra, that's my advice to you. Find something that connects to somebody. Um, if you can draw cartoons and comics, you can draw caricatures. Get the book, The Mad Art of Caricature by Tom Richmond. Uh, don't be the starving artist, everybody. Uh, I don't know it all, but I know a little bit about a lot. And um, good things are happening in the future. Um, I don't want to ramble too much. Um, anybody know what time it is? I can't. I think Jeopardy's playing. I don't know. I got to get upstairs. <clears throat> I got the freaking black mold down here getting in my... Oh, jeez. Don't buy a house, man. Don't buy a house. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. I said it again. Buy a house. Sam, if it was me, if I, I'm not you, if it was me, I'd get a very, very small house, and I'd wait it out until I found the perfect deal, the perfect house, small enough to manage. That's me. But I, I think you might do the nomadic life, the, the van life. That's fine, too. But you got to find a place to dump the shit, get your water, park, campground, all that horse shit. That ain't me. I want to, when I come home from work, I want to sit. And I, want, I don't want to fucking do that shit. I just want to enjoy my property. Okay, quick live comment. Sandra, can you draw a quick caricature right now? Oh, I don't have anything with me. It's all upstairs. Sandra, I, yeah, let me look. Um, all my markers, I use a specific marker. And uh, down here is just for painting because it's a basement. Sandra, I'll do that tomorrow night, Sandra. If you tune in tomorrow. No, I can't tomorrow night because I, I have a cartoon gig. Um, I may do a live in the afternoon, but um, during the week, I'll go live around this time and draw. Uh, check my video on drawing from a photo, Sandra. Go to my channel, hit the subscribe, and uh, follow along. Grab a marker and follow along. Don't be the starving artist. Share your artwork and make it available for people. If you're on Facebook, make a separate folder, an album that says Available Works. And when you add a photo to your Available Works album, all your friends are going to see, oh, Mark just added a photo, or Sandra or Sam just added a photo to his Available Works. That's the title of your album, see? And they say, oh, that's available. Because sometimes people don't know your work's available unless you tell them. But you don't want to come out and say, my work's for sale, my work's for sale, and you sound a little desperate. So you got to kind of do it a little sneaky. Just kind of put it out there, all right? Dangle the carrots, sell the sizzle, not the steak. Sell the smoke, not the steak. All right, fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. Holy cow. Man, I, that hurt, actually. Jesus, son of a bitch. All right. Guys, thank you for tuning in. I got to run upstairs and visit Mrs. Cartoon Mark. It's Friday. I don't have to work tomorrow. Thank you so much. You helped me a lot keeping... Keep going. Just found you. Sandra, thanks so much. Hit the subscribe button, Sandra. Uh, if I can help you out with anything, I will. I, if you want a certain type of video, a uh, cartoon tutorial, go through my videos, playlist, and whatever. You'll find all kinds of stuff. From painting to drawing. I'm more of a drawer. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much. I really thank you guys for taking your precious time to just listen to me ramble. Um... Come back next time. I'll see you at the drawing board. I got to go. See you. Bye.